Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. On our planet, each creature has its critical worth that another type can't fully fill. However, as people, we have been overwhelming the eco-framework throughout the long term and over-exploitation currently makes numerous species to be on the verge of being extinct. People think about snakes as quite possibly the most perilous animal. However, they are in a risky circumstance. The majority of the snakes in the climate are non-venomous and less venomous. Not many are hazardous, but the destruction of forests Increasing attacks from invasive animals and rapid climate changes, almost 97 species of snakes are considered endangered. Number 10. Vipera vagneri. Vipera vagneri, or the oscillated mountain snake, is a very lethal snake found in northwest Iran and eastern Turkey. They belong in the subfamily Viponeri of the family Viperidae. This snake lives at heights of more than 1,500 meters, which is 5,000 feet and favors rough or green regions. In 2008, the availability with the Wagner snake was changed to jeopardized, as it was expected that the arranged development of a dam inside its restricted territory would obliterate the snake's population. Numbers have additionally been declining because of many individuals catching these snakes for keeping as pets. It is believed that there are less than 2,500 grown viparas left in nature. Got the name from Moritz Wagner, a German pilgrim who gathered the first reported specimen in 1846. Because of the danger of these snakes becoming extinct, the St. Louis Zoo fused them into their reproducing program with hopes that the numbers can be increased. Number 9. The Alcatraz's Lenshead. The Alcatraz's Lenshead, also with the scientific name Bofrops Alcatraz, is more than an imperiled snake that lives on a little island of the southeastern bank of Brazil. This snake gets its name from the island that it lives on, Ilha de Alcatraz, a small rock of just 1.35 square kilometers that structures part of the Alcatraz's archipelago. Even living in a very isolated place, the snakes face dangers as the island is much of the time utilized as a naval target region, imperiling the lives and living space of these uncommon snakes. The Alcatraz's landshead it's related to the pit snake family, implying that it has a heat detecting organ in its head, which is used to find its prey. Also, like any remaining pit snake, it's dangerously toxic. The fixed numbers of the species are not known at the moment. However, these are noticeably common on that small island, but not anywhere else. Number 8 Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake. The Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake, or Crotalus catalinensis, is a little, slim pit viper tracked down just on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. They can grow up to heights of almost 29 inches in length. The lack of a functioning rattle makes this rattlesnake unique. It's said that the rattlesnakes lost their rattle to get adapted to their environment, which helps them stealthily sneak upon birds in desert areas. Their populace is confronting extreme difficulties because of the presence of wild felines, which go after the snakes. Also, these snakes are killed and illegally collected, reducing their population. With the decreasing number of deer mice, the number of these snakes may decline. Recently, a new program has been applied to decrease the number of feral cats on the island and will help in preserving these specific snakes. The IOCN Red List considers them critically endangered. Number 7. Antiguan Racer Previously, the world's rarest snake, Alsophis antiguae, has made some improvement in its numbers due to continuous conservational activities. The Antiguan racer can be found on a couple of little islands of the Caribbean island nation of Antigua and Barbuda. The Antiguan racer was formerly living on the island of Antigua, however, was cleared out after the increasing numbers of the mongoose and black rat. Only a small number of racers managed to survive on the Great Bird Island. This species was said to be wiped out until it was rediscovered in the mid-1990s, after the fruitful removal of wild rats from the island, the populace has since expanded to more than 900, with snakes being once again introduced to local islands. The Antiguan racer is a brown and non-venomous snake, making them harmless. Its eating regimen compromises only lizards that live on the little offshore islands. Number 6. Deriskis Viper Belonging to the Viparidae family, the Vipera Deriski is a venomous snake which can be tracked down in northwestern Armenia and northeastern Turkey. 
The snake is named after Ia Derevsky, who was one of the first to find and recognize the species. Because of the exploitation of its regular living space from overgrazing by local creatures, the quantities of Derevsky snakes are decreasing. From the latest records, there are around 500 repairers left in the wild, putting this snake near the very edge of extinction. The snake's eating regimen compromises chiefly of lizards, rodents, and sometimes insects. Derevsky snake lives essentially at high elevations on mountain edges and can be found in the daytime basking in the sun to get enough heat to properly operate during the day. These snakes show sexual dimorphism, implying that the females are essentially bigger than males. Also now subspecies of the Derevsky's viper have been recognized. Number 5. Short-nosed sea snake. The Saho reef snake, also called the short-nosed sea snake, is a basically imperiled sea snake whose natural surroundings are for the most part situated in a little region of the bank of northwestern Australia. With the scientific name Ifersaurus prefrontalis, the name comes from the way that it has a little head and a short pointed nose. The Sahel reef snake favors sandy regions with sparse coral and can survive up to 10 years in nature. Till now, the snake has been discovered in only two reefs, Ashmore and Hibernia. While the snake was once found plentiful up until the 1990s, its numbers have gone down so significantly that not a single Sahul reef snake has been found according to surveys since 2000. While the purposes behind the snake vanishing inside its environment are obscure, it has been theorized that serious coral bleaching and degradation might be a significant reason. Number 4. Round Island Boa Caseria dusimiri, also called the Round Island keel-scaled boa, can be found just on Round Island Mauritius. Adult Cesaris can reach up to 1.5 meters or 5 feet long. They're dull brown on the upper side and their guts are a little lighter with a sprinkling of dim spots. The snake gets its name from little keel scales that cover its body. The species has of late been once again introduced to another island, Gunners Coin, and in spite of the fact that there were under 250 mature round island boas in 1996, the numbers have now been expanded to around 1000. This is to a great extent because of the removal of an invasive species, for example goats and hares, which has prompted the return of quite a bit of their local natural surroundings. These snakes are important for a captive breeding system that will help in guaranteeing their continued survival. They lay up to 12 eggs all at once and hatching ordinarily goes on around 90 days. Number 3. The Aruba Island Rattlesnake the Aruba Island Rattlesnake, or Quartalis unicolor, is an endangered listed snake that is native to the Caribbean island of Aruba, found right off the shoreline of Venezuela. The snakes generally have a uniform, dim or light, earthy colored body tone, in spite of the fact that they have diamond-shaped markings on their back. The snake is active at night during the warm mid-year months, however, it will branch out during the cooler early morning and late evening periods. The rattlesnake is very viviparous to give up babies to live young instead of laying eggs. It has an expected life expectancy of as long as 20 years, and its eating regimen is primarily rodents, birds and lizards. It is assessed that there are just 230 grown of these snakes alive in the wild, with around 100 more in captivity. This snake is sadly under the threat of their habitats being destroyed by increasing forest projects. The snake's habitat is decreasing even further due to goats that bring a negative impact on the vegetation of the island. Number 2. Orlov's Viper Vipera Orlovi is located to the Black Sea area of Russia, where it is native to the Caucasus area. It was in 2001 that Olive's snake was isolated as a different species from the related Caucasian snake. The snake has a triangular head and long, poisonous fangs, which collapse against the top of the mouth when not being used. Even though the tones of the viper can change from one snake to another, they are normally brown, dim, or yellow dim, with brown or dark crisscross bands. All of the snakes have been found to eat a wide scope of food sources like mice, lizards, frogs and bugs. It's researched that there are under 250 of these snakes in nature. The Orlov's viper experiences boundless poaching because of its fame as a pet. With under 100 square kilometers of regular natural surroundings remaining, the Orlov's viper is a critically endangered species. Number 1. Lucia racer snake Claimed as the rarest snake on the planet, the St. Lucia's racer is found on the little island of the shoreland of St. Lucia, a tropical Caribbean island. While these snakes once existed on St. Lucia, the number went down with, with increasing black rats and mongooses on the island, killing these little snakes and poaching their eggs. In 1936, they were declared to be extinct. However, were later rediscovered on Maria Major in 1973, where their survival rates increased because of the absence of mongooses. This non-venomous snake grows at the highest length of under 1 meter, 
and is normally light brown in coloring with a unique earth-colored stripe starting from neck to the tail. With a new study demonstrating that as not many as 18 of these snakes exist on the island, the St. Lucian razor is perhaps the most extraordinary creature on the planet. As of now, significant preservation endeavors are in progress to safeguard these snakes before they become extinct again. And that is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!